What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and with the release of iOS 8.3, there's been a lot of information regarding the jailbreak that I have to share with you guys. So alongside that information, there's also a lot of confusion. A lot of people don't really know what's going on. So I just thought I'd make a video to share with you guys what I know, you know, all the information there is regarding that iOS 8.3 or iOS 8.2 jailbreak. So first off, I just want to let you guys know, I personally am not a jailbreak developer. I wish I could tell you guys an accurate release date, however, at the moment, I don't know. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, first off, iOS 8.3 brings a multitude of new features to the iOS 8 platform. It increases speed and fluidity, especially on older devices, and fixes a whole bunch of bugs. So it's a really nice upgrade. However, it's unclear whether or not an iOS 8.2 or iOS 8.3 jailbreak will be produced. However, we have compelling reason to believe that an iOS 8.2 jailbreak will be seen first before an iOS 8.3 one. And the reason this is, is because iOS 8.3 actually patches a major exploit used in producing a Taiji jailbreak. It's actually an exploit found in the mobile backup, so when you're backing up your device, that exploit can get in through the backup. And it's very unfortunate that Apple has patched this because that is a key element in creating a jailbreak. So basically what that means is iOS 8.3 further complicates things. I mean, as if iOS 8.2 and 8.1.3 didn't come to mess things up. So unfortunately, at the moment, an iOS 8.3 jailbreak is not likely. And the reason I personally don't think 8.3 should be jailbroken right now is because 8.3.1 will be on its way really soon. With the release of iOS 8.3, a whole bunch of people started experiencing Touch ID issues inside of the Apple App Store. The option to actually use your Touch ID to download an application has completely disappeared for so many users. It's actually a pretty big problem. And Apple doesn't want to tarnish the reputation by leaving such a big bug in iOS 8.3, so they're going to release a very small update very soon. Now, besides that, there are a number of other issues, such as a keyboard issue where a lot of people are typing, and those characters that pop up stick on the display and they get in the way of the keyboard and I've actually seen that in many places. I personally have not experienced it. However, you know, I understand it's a big bug and Apple's going to want to take care of those as soon as possible. So 8.3.1 is going to be on its way. That's why an iOS 8.3 jailbreak doesn't even make sense at the moment. Now, besides that one exploit, the serious one that has been patched, Apple has patched a total of 39 security bugs in iOS 8.3. As MuscleNerd has tweeted, that's the biggest update to security since iOS 8 from iOS 7. That's insane. That's going to complicate things you know, so much for jailbreak developers. And unfortunately, that means an iOS 8.3 jailbreak at the moment is not very viable. I mean, it is possible. However, it would take much longer than just releasing an iOS 8.2 jailbreak. iOS 8.2 patches one more exploit than 8.1.3 does, and 8.1.3 patches about four to five of about 10 to 11 needed for a jailbreak. So as you guys can see, 8.2 is probably the prime jailbreak. Not to mention the Taiji jailbreak team has already spoken, and they have said that they are working on an iOS 8.2 jailbreak, not an 8.3 1, 8.2. So where does that leave people that updated iOS 8.3? Fortunately for you guys, you can downgrade right this moment. If you click right here, you can click on that video and it'll take you to my iOS 8.3 to 8.2 downgrade video. And you guys should do that as soon as possible because that signing period is going to close very soon. And after that point, you will no longer be able to downgrade and you'll be stuck on 8.3. I know the features are nice, you know, all the fixes. However, it's not worth it if you want a jailbreak. You're going to wait a lot longer than the people on iOS 8.2. And per chance, let's just say that the Taiji jailbreak team does release an 8.3 jailbreak you can always upgrade back to 8.3. I mean, no harm, no foul. Also, I do want to mention, if you guys have not saved your SHSH blobs for 8.2, do that now. Absolutely now, because Apple's closing that signing period and you guys will no longer get the option to do so. The reason you'd want to do that is if you update 8.3 in the future, a possible downgrade solution could be made. And if you have those SHSH blobs, you can downgrade back to 8.2 at any time. So make sure to save those guys. Use Tiny Umbrella. There will be a link down below in the description description to saving your SH blobs. Do that, please. You will thank yourself. You will thank me in the future. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, I'm on iOS 8.1.3. Should I upgrade or should I stay here? Well, first off, 8.1.3 will receive the same jailbreak that 8.2 does. So if you guys want to, you could update to iOS 8.2. I mean, it's very likely that an iOS 8.2 jailbreak will be released and it will work on 8.1.3. But if you guys want to support the Apple Watch, you could upgrade to 8.2 right now. And you guys should watch the 8.1.3 
8.1.3 downgrade video, I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade or downgrade. So same thing. If you guys are on 8.1.3, basically you could upgrade to 8.2 if you want support for the Apple Watch. If not, it doesn't matter. You could stay where you're at. So basically guys, all I'm trying to say is iOS 8.3 is a big no-no. Stay away from it if you guys are expecting a jailbreak. Otherwise, it is a great firmware. I found that it improves performance on many devices, especially on older ones. All of the new features and emojis are very nice, but it does kill the jailbreak. So that's one negative. So basically stay away from 8.3. If you already are on 8.3, use that downgrade video to downgrade back to 8.2 because iOS 8.2 at the moment is the most likely firmware to become jailbroken. However, release date, who knows? It could be a week from now. It could be two weeks from now. The Taiji jailbreak team said they're working on it. They have not given an estimated release date. So guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to let you know what's going on with that jailbreak. I know a lot of people are confused and hopefully I could clear up some of that confusion with this video. And I just thought I'd throw in Apple Watch pre-orders start tonight as well as the new MacBook. So if you guys are interested in any of those, that starts at 12.01 Pacific Standard Time. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little update video, guys. Stay strong on your current firmware. Hopefully, it's 8.2. Otherwise, downgrade back to it if you guys want a jailbreak. Have a great day, guys. Peace.